This great world is art. Today's guest is an Italian-born, LA-based artist working at the intersection of photography, sculpture, and traditional crafts. She applies her unique cut and weave technique to large photographic prints. She has just finished her third and largest exhibition called Lanet, presented by a Speedy Gallery in Santa Monica, California. Please welcome Deborah Medici Guetta. Hello, Deborah. How are you doing? Hi, good. How are you? Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Please have a seat. So Deborah, you have established now and then active internationally, but when did you start like having interests in art? So I have been always been in the art uh -huh. just because since I was little, I used to draw all the time. Right. I used to dedicate myself. I used to love to paint and draw so very independently since I was really, really a baby. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, and so that interest grew with me. Right. And um, I wanted to actually pursue it mm. in school. It's just that my mom preferred that I would study languages. Right. And that's where I went. That, that's the direction I went. Gotcha. Uh, once I graduated, I left, I'm from Italy, mm -hmm. and I left Italy to travel. And uh, that's when I started to really dedicate myself to what I really enjoyed, and art was one of them. I see. The art, yes. since you're growing up, but did there was any like influence particularly from someone, like parents or someone close to you? or? Well, it was more like my other, it's kind of an escape it was for me. Uh -huh. So there was not a direct influence by somebody. Okay. Um, so it was like my go-to place. Got it. Growing Got up. It. Okay. Well, that it was I more created like... myself. Right, right, right. Is that, in the beginning, was that more like a like place to escape or, yes, or it was, you know? It was like a, a place to escape, but also in school when we were like in, uh, when I was in, um, even elementary or like in middle school, I was the person that the students would come to me to do, I don't know, whatever project. I was the one always that had to either draw something, write something. Um, I was the person that people would come to for right. creative uh -huh. projects. And so I kind of grew into that. Right, 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 right. And then after that, uh, you have established your current style. Well, what kind of journey you've been through to have the current style of yours? Yeah, yeah. the journey has been a long journey. Mm -hmm. So it went from, you know, simple, like from drawing, painting, illustration, graphic arts. At right. that time, everything was done by hand and mm -hmm. not computers. Right. And uh, then years, years later, um, while well, I got married, I had children, and then I wanted to go back to my art, mm -hmm. and I thought that photography would have been the best medium for me to get into just because of the timing. It would have been less, I don't want to say time consuming, but uh -huh. kind of easier to right. process. Right, time efficient. Time efficient, right. exactly. And so I did that and I went back to college and took some classes right. and developed, you know, like... In Italy got, or here? No, here. We're okay. Yeah, okay. after I, when I left Italy, it was my huh? 20s, I got came it. here. Mm -hmm. And so that's how I got back into the art, got by it. doing photography. And then again, I put it on the side and went back to it about 12 years ago. 12 years, okay. And that's when the actual journey started. Oh, okay. Because up until then, you know, being a mother, being a wife, you just dedicate right. your, your life right. to all these other priorities and you kind of forget yourself. Yep. Until the day that you said, hey. You have only 24 hours. You know, yeah. yes, but like also you have to kind of put yourself back in there. Exactly, exactly. And that's when the journey started. Mm -hmm. um, coming out of a shadow right. of what my life was. Mm -hmm. And so, and that has been a developing uh, process. I joined a group of photographers, okay. which I still do John, I mean, we're still, we still meet um, once a week. Okay. Where we share, they're all professional photographers and we share our project and we give very productive uh, feedback right. and we grow our projects together. Awesome, also build a network. 
Yes, cool. and uh, that it's a good outlet. Mm -hmm. It's a good way to to express yourself. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, to be with people that kind of speak your same language too. Right, 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 right. right. So, and that's when I basically started to develop my own style. Mm, I see. Is there a crucial moment though, like the combining all the, you know, your style, it's just, oh, that's it. So some people accidentally yeah. find it or some people just pursue it. Or so what, what, was, what, was, what was it in your case? To me, it just happened. Okay. Just one day, I mean, first when I was in college, mm -hmm. I had uh, a project that I needed to work uh, and was reproducing as some kind of uh, texture. Mm -hmm. And I reproduced weaving a part of a basket. Okay, okay. And so I took actual paper right. and, and I did it and I was, and it stayed with me, this part of weaving, it was very interesting. Mm -hmm. Many years later, when I had the photography and you know, and all the experience that I had gone through with the art and the painting and the drawing and all of that, I thought, what about weaving something or mm -hmm. like and ju it just happened one day right i just wanted to get very honest i woke up mm -hmm. and i said i need a cutter you know like right. one of those cutter shredder uh -huh. i went to get one and then i got a bunch of pictures right and i was so excited and I laid them all down on a, on a desk and I started just to cut and put them together and and until two o'clock in the morning. And then wow. I sat back and I was like, whoa, what did just happen? <laughs> yeah. I had no idea what had just happened. Uh -huh, I just uh -huh. was into something else. Right, okay. Oh, that's interesting, that's interesting. And then of course your art style is really unique. And then there are stories behind each of each of your work, you know. Right. But could you tell us about the more about your work particularly recently? And then also uh, any the concept as well as the concept behind your work. So I do a lot of travel picture. Mm -hmm. So when I travel, is my feeling, my sensation, mm -hmm. and and when I look at something or I observe something, I just like to shred it all apart mm -hmm. and then recompose it mm -hmm. according to my feelings mm -hmm. and my emotion of that time. Right. And so and it's kind of. Um, the same approach to the chaos of everyday life. I mean, mm. we all are, we all have very busy lives. Right. We're all running. We right. all, but throughout you know our day, we have so many moments in which we have to solve right. simple things, mm -hmm. even like to get lunch or to do yeah. anything. Yeah. And throughout my process, when I recreate in another environment, um, I use the same thinking the same process as an everyday life right. challenge. Right. So I shred it apart to basically recompose and then I recreate a new place right. where it's with a new feeling. Mm. The way right. I seen it, uh -huh. because I get the imagery before right. I go somewhere. Right. So then when I arrive in a place or if I see a person, then I have an image that I would like to achieve. Mm -hmm. And so I take pictures, then when I come back, I look at them and then I put them all together to right. create a new, wow. a so, new place. I see, so your, the stories behind your work is pretty much, it's come from, it comes from uh, your emotional attachment to right. whatever happened in your life. Right. The, little, the daily cycle, every day, you know, do the same things, but different stories each day. Right. Right, but it's also um, anybody can relate to. Right, 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 right. Because we all walk down the street and see, or sometimes people don't see. Mm -hmm. So it kind of pushes you to see around you. Right, 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 right. So it's kind of an universal approach, I would say, like mm -hmm. where everybody can identify themselves walking down the street and you know, looking up at the building and the way I, I weave the building back together, right. I'm sure that everybody has a different response. Right. Since your your work is so attached to your daily life, the real life, is there any moment or day even that you cannot actually you try to do your work, but so emotionally you're so emotional, whatever you know from whatever happened previously, and then I cannot do it. Or it's kind of going through the process crying or <laughs> oh, is yeah. there any not everything comes out what it comes I mean uh -huh. not everything it's you know like I have this imagery and then when I go and do it and I try to take pieces and try right. to recompose it but why, why are you doing it though? it the does process, yeah you know? oh the process is uh -huh. it's it's actually amazing because you just go into a different space and a different time you just are not here mm -hmm. so it's very 
medita meditative, like right. you're very, you know, you go in another planet, I guess. Wow. But, um, but not all the time. Uh -huh. okay. It comes what you set up to be. Right, right. And that's the frustration part. Right, right. And then you have to learn because it's a whole learning process. Then you have to learn to let it go. Sometimes in life things don't work right. and they're not meant to be for you right. or, and you just have to accept it mm -hmm. and just let it go. Right. It's just not for you. There's something else better for you. It's not meant for you because it's not, it's not what it's supposed to be for you. So wow. it, it, that's what I apply a lot of this learning uh -huh. through throughout the process of doing my art. Right, right. You're so present. I'm so, you know, <laughs> like I'm fascinated to hear your story because everyday life and then uh, so many things happening that we kind of ignore or even yeah. are not aware of. Yeah. You know, that's great. So things you'd like to communicate through your work. Is there anything that, you know, to the audience or whoever see your work, what you, what you would like to tell them through your work? Well, I always hope that when somebody looks at my work that they feel inspired, first of all. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they get this feeling of connection mm -hmm. to the environment. Mm -hmm. And th that's a very important, that's very important that you feel that connection with the environment, the, the environment around you, and mm -hmm. you stop and think and you look and you get more present, you right. get more living in, in the now and and that you feel part of it. Mm -hmm. Because I have a, lo a lot of people that um, come back to me very inspired, very, um, like they wanna go home and start redoing it. Right. Um, so that, that is amazing. I think awesome. that's, you know, if you can make a little change in everybody's, even a little one, that's, that would be a great goal to achieve. Mm -hmm. You know, we're feeling at your uh, studio right now, and I see a lot of currently going on kind of project or work. So I don't know how much you can reveal, but could you share something with us at the current project or a future project? Okay, so I just had um, a solo show mm -hmm. that aired, that was on until end of February. Mm -hmm. And then I worked, I'm also uh, the board of director of a nonprofit organization uh, for empowering women. Mm -hmm. And we just finished uh, the filming of a, um, a series called One of Us. And there are four Italian women that tell their stories, their journey. Mm -hmm. We did the, num the first season last year. And this year we just did the second season mm. and uh, it aired on, on um, uh, March 8th, Women okay. Independence Day. So I am actively in, uh, involved. Mm -hmm and I do the behind the scene uh, filming, um, photo photography, uh -huh. and we had an exhibit right. about all of that. Wow. Um, so there are ongoing projects also right. regarding- um, Multiple projects ongoing yes, at the same time. Yes, wow. at the same time. Whether there's um, a more an artistic input mm -hmm. or more on a business part side input, right. but I'm involved also in that. Wow, yeah. do you have time to sleep? No, I know, that's what everybody asks me. <laughs> This episode will be available on YouTube this coming Saturday. For details, please check out our Facebook page. Next, more exciting materials to show you all. Wait, wait, there's part two. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.